I mean, yeah. Don't do that. <laughs>
I would not be able to catch the wobble on camera, but uh, these two broadheads are definitely going to be the keepers. I don't know what's going on with this guy. Uh, whether it just came out of the factory wonky, whether it's this part where it meets the outsert that's not completely square, but I can definitely tell that it's a little bit wobbly. I don't know. Yeah. These are not even close to being sharp. No. I don't even think it's going to cut that. Yeah. So these right out of the box are not sharp. Uh, they will need to be sharpened. All right, so just as I thought, these are not sharp coming out of the box. I mean, I, I, this is thicker, you know, cardstock paper. Not, not cardstock, but it is thicker paper. But I mean, it it saws through it and doesn't it, it doesn't you know, just effortlessly cut through it. I, I, I doubt that even newspaper would, um, I, I doubt that it would perform very much better with newspaper or anything like that, but, um, and that's okay. It's not sharp at all. There's a huge burr on the end of it, and I don't think you can expect a manufacturer like this to sharpen to the point where, you know, it's going to be up to the standards of a lot of people. I mean, it won't even it won't even shave my hair off. So, um, you know, it's just it's just grabbing it's just grabbing everything. And there's there's clearly a burr on one side. So I don't think it's reasonable to expect them to sharpen it to the point where it's up to our standards. But that's okay because we can sharpen it ourselves, and uh, it's our job to maintain that sharpness. So. Um, these will get sharpened up. I have to figure out what I'm going to do about the tanto tip, whether I'm going to leave it like like it is, basically like a hammer, or whether I'm going to go ahead and sharpen those edges up. I don't think it'd be that difficult. Um, but yeah, these have a lot of work to do before um, they go out in the field. But um, I think what I'm going to do first is shoot them and make sure that they uh, maintain zero uh, along with a field point. So I, I need to see how far off these things are. And if they're not, then who cares? Um, and I think I'll shoot the, I'll, I'll think I'll, I think I'll do that before I sharpen them uh, because it, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to just sharpen them up really, really nice so that they, I just shoot them into foam, you know, 25 times just get them dull again so yeah it's about what I expected um, out of new broadheads did I choose a lesser known company yes I did um, will it work out that has yet to be seen I think these will end up being fine um, if I change them I change them who cares um, but I'm, I'm definitely going to try to sharpen these. I mean, like, look, I can run my finger down the edge and it won't, it won't, it doesn't even leave a mark. So I also have to figure out whether I'm going to offset these so that the two veins and the broad head are off, are offset perfectly or whether I'm going to line them with one. So uh, that's going to be another decision that I have to make, but um, short unboxing video with a lot of talking and not a lot of action, um, but that's par for the course with this channel. So those are my broadheads for this year, for better or for worse. We'll get these broadheads sharpened up really, really nicely um, and see how they do. Um, so uh, that's it for me today. Very, very cool packaging. 
Um, I don't know if they're going to be a gimmick or not, but we'll see. We'll find out. Apparently Adam Greentree uses them and they perform really well for him, but I'm sure he sharpens the absolute dog shit out of them, so uh, that's what I'm going to do. That's it for me for today.